Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. It's no longer in news that President Muhammad Buhari has vowed to go after agitators and refuse to look into the root of agitations. These are how you know, how, how you can count failures, failure for for the part of an administration who doesn't listen to people. That does not make you a good leader. A good leader should be a good listener. You listen to people, no matter how you look at it. People are agitating. You don't care to know why they are agitating. You don't even want to look into the roots of agitations. All you just want is go after agitators. Bet you pamper bandits and Boko Haram who are killing people. We are talking about terrorists. These people kill, they rape, they burn people's homes, they sack people from their ancestral homes. But that is not a threat to this government. But agitators are. It's shameful to say. At the end of the day, you tell them you tell them well done by giving them amnesty, give them five salaries every month. The ones you send abroad, you send them, you give them scholarship. And the, the other ones, you push them, you know, to army, Nigerian army and police and all that. We are having so many problems in this country. But this administration, they don't want to know. This dialogue, dialogue, dialogue with agitators. Not be today, then they talk. Um, you don't tell when Nigerians, they tell this government, this this president, Muhammad Buhari, led Nigerian government to dialogue with agitators in the country. But no, he will not. He said he will not. And all that. Now the question is, even with the way he's going about it, is it helping out matter? You are making mistakes upon mistakes. And here we are today. Here we are today. The leader of the Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elisha Hayodele, on Sunday, advised President Muhammad Buhari to dialogue with the Biafran Nation, the Eastern Security Network, and the Yoruba Nation agitators for the sake of peace during the 2023 election. In a statement signed by his media aides, Primate Ayodele revealed that the agitators are planning to cause a crisis during the election. He urged the government not to underrate the agitators to avoid making errors that would disrupt the nation's peace. He asked that the government call them for a dialogue and settle things amicably. According to Ayodele, now is the best time to avoid the crisis planned to make the 2023 general elections. He said the government must work on the security of the nation because agitators are planning something. The likes of IPOP, the likes of ESN, the Odudua Nation agitators should be called for dialogue. They should not underrate them to avoid errors. They should call them, talk to them in order to ensure peace, he said. So guys, what's your take? The Irish, the leader of Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elisha Ayodele, on Sunday, advised President Muhammad Buhari to dialogue with the Biafran Nation, the Eastern Security Network, and the Yoruba Nation agitators for the peace, for the sake of peace, during the 2023 election. In a statement signed by his media aide, Primate Ayodele revealed that the agitators are planning to cause a crisis during the election. He urged the government not to underrate the agitators to avoid making errors that would disrupt the nation's peace. He asked that the government call them for a dialogue and settle things amicably. 
According to Ayodele, now is the best time to avoid the crisis plan in the, the coming 2023 general elections. He said the government must work on the security of the nation because agitators are planning something. The likes of IPOP, the likes of ESN, the likes of Odudu One Nations agitators should be called for dialogue. They should not underrate them to avoid errors. They should call them, talk to them in order to ensure peace. Okay. Dialogue or not dialogue, Biafra will still come. The Pharaoh is deaf and dumb. Thank God this man has said words. Lies ahead, but the man in Asorok will want the South to crumble to pieces. Left for him, he wants the North to vote for Atiku, while the South go to blaze. But God will disappoint him. Chai. Now, wow, which kind of wahala be this? The rain Fulani terrorist, Jagaweed government. Okay, the rain Fulani terrorist, Jagaweed government is planning for, in this country called Nigeria, we soon fall. Southerners is wiser than Northerners. I agree with primate Elisha Ayodele that boorish dialogue with the agitators of self-determination in Nigeria, namely IPOB, and the Yoruba nation, headed by Professor Akin, Akin Toye and Sunday Ibo, just like the way the late Omaru Yaradu a dialogue with the Niger Delta militant, and there came peace. I hope that our president will take the advice because we need peace before, during, and after the general elections of February, 2023, President Buhari, please now. The crisis can only affect the chance of Peter Obi. As for Duduwa agitators, that one is non, no matter. Hmm. Is it not the same uh, Oduduwa agitators we had the other day that took a, so a soldier's gun? Hmm. Don't underrate agitators. Okay, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.